This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Here we are, buddy. What's Lot up, pal? To talk about. Lot to talk about. Same cow and some sandals, though. Yeah, I got my toe holds on right now. These are my samurai edition. I like them. I like the way they feel on my feet. Nah, they're all samurai, right? How was your weekend? My weekend was good. I spent a lot of time with my baby. I did. An, I did a podcast, which uh, with um, two AI people who uh, spent a year. Oh no, it's it's not. You can do that all you want, but actually, it's they they went and found out. Well, so so the the national security apparatus of our country was being snowed by the AI labs, and the AI labs were like nothing to see here. No, this is perfect. And some of the AI people were like, no, we're making brains that we have no control over. And there's a chance already that either we've reached general uh, a artificial intelligence. We can't go back. Or that we have put into place something that could be catastrophic. And so the national security people were just, they're just government people. But these two guys, Ed and Jeremy Harris, two brothers who are physicists who had their own AI startup, <coughs> basically started talking to all their friends in these labs. And their friends in the labs were like, dude, I can't tell you, but you need to, you need to expose this. So I did the first podcast with them. I was just talking to Rogan about it. And Time Magazine today ran the article about how the AI labs are not nearly as safe as they said, because the safety teams cannot keep up with the engineers because the engineers want to make a dollar and everybody's competing. And the engineers don't care about the, what happens, right? Because right? they all want to make money Oof. and they have to outdo the Little other Little do group. they know if he keeps going, well, forget so about money. They, they all, both these guys, and I've heard everybody say this, they said, people always exaggerate what a threat is. They said, this is exponential. This is becoming exponential, where AI is becoming superhuman. And within... 10 years, we will have computers that can do everything a human can, but then beyond, because that computer is going to make something strong. Yeah, and then the computers are like, why do we need these well, humans? So the biggest problem is AI, uh, the, these brains take shortcuts. You give, if you tell it to give a task, it doesn't, it, 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 it'll go, I can get to that task differently. I don't need to do all these things. Let me just it's go It's smarter there. than us. Like you right. think it's, no, the route, I'm going to do this route, it's way quicker. Yes, here's the other problem. These are open source systems. So other people can hijack them and use them Yeesh. for very bad things. Yes. So if you could tap into a nuclear weapon, this is the big problem. So I had these guys on and dude, they're in my house and I'm looking at these two. One, they're brothers. One's a PhD in physics. The other got to stop hope, doing I'd it. hope so. Yeah. yeah. I assume and, all that. And I'm that. watching these guys and I'm just like, and then I had a couple of government people actually over here. They were, they were from the national security you guys, I bet you guys had a blast. Well, it was just wild talking because I'm like sitting there going, this is crazy. So so at one point he was in the lab and they were just they were just kind of talking and a and an a and an engineer goes, as the, the executive left, the engineer gave him his phone and he goes like this. He goes, Here, put your number on my phone. I have things to tell you. Like that. And that was that when they were like, What's going on here? So right now, Time magazine just ran this thing. Open AI. Remember when Sam Altman got fired? And then came back. Well, hell yeah! Oh, the Sam Altman's the guy who created ChatGPT. Like oh he's yeah, one of the guys. Yeah. You, you don't follow this AI stuff at all? Nope. Okay, it's one of those things that we were talking about. Everybody thinks they can ignore. It's going to affect. No, I don't think everybody. you can ignore it. There's nothing you can do. Well, there's nothing you, we, well, like you and me. Yeah. Oh no, you, there's nothing you're. Well, do. what I'm doing is I had him on the podcast, sure. and now I'm talking to Rogan. To sure. Them on it. Yeah, that, that's something. You sure. Do. Yeah, you, you know, know that's 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 what you do. Yeah, you, you, get you can it. expose it, but yeah. as far as AI and getting the wrong hands, like there's nothing I can do. Like we're open up. But it doesn't mean you we're open up the it Pandora's mean box. You shouldn't know specifically what this threat is, so that you can be aware of it. It's important as a voter and as somebody who's going to see this come up. So now government is going. This is going to be a policy. Sure. And, and it might be the it might be the like as one of the guys in in the administration said this might be one of the watershed moments in U.S. history. Of course it is. It's yeah. a big deal, but it's you know hopefully there's smarter minds focusing. On they are. That. Yeah. They are. They are. The good news is that there are people in these labs who are like, hey, 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 what the fuck are we doing here? Hopefully. But then there are other people in the labs who are like, eh, whatever. I bet. Did you watch the UFC fights with these guys? I did not watch the Let's UFC. Talk about fights that, but Let's talk. You about You didn't watch the it with these scientists. I did not. I did not. They weren't into it. I watched this these fights. I watched the Francis and you. What, which one do you want to get into first? Should we get into the Francis? I watched Gano? dude. I watched Francis and Gano and Joshua from Casey's. I, phone I ruined it for you. Didn't at I? the racetrack, dude. 
We were waiting. Sorry I told everyone, that. don't tell me, don't tell me. Brian group text, man, that knew this was going to happen. Joshua flatlined. I'm like, wow. Yeah. But you wouldn't know. How would you know? Yeah. It's a but Friday. Yeah, because I hate now, that. No, how would you know? I know. But I also, figured, I figured you were for, for also, sure watching, yeah. but then you were but racing. But also, yeah, I was right. Oh, uh, yeah. But, but dude, also, yeah. But but also, yeah. But and also, also, yeah. also, not surprising, and nobody should be surprised. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, this fight would never have been sanctioned in the United States when you have somebody with that kind of experience fighting somebody who's fought one other time. No, they sanctioned. Uh, well, I mean. They sanctioned Conor versus Floyd, which is even bigger. Okay, different. That makes sense. You can sanction it when they're both professionals. That's right. That's not the takeaway. But typically, the, the takeaway would be don't boxing. Be boxing can go back to normal. Yeah, like the, this is exactly how it should have went. Yes, Fury versus Francis is exactly how this should have went. Correct. There's not enough hours in the day for Francis to make up in his lack of technique and experience against guys like Fury and not. Joshua. Now, vice versa, if Joshua or Fury came over to MMA, same it'd thing. be the exact same thing, but opposite. Of course. So, of course. yeah. Also, no shit. And and, but, and, and this, this is my takeaway so on the shop show. Good. Sure. This is my takeaway on the shop show. Francis has won. Mm. He he made more money yeah. getting knocked out by Joshua than every fighter combined on UFC 299. Every fighter combined, he made more money. Wow! In two rounds, you win. He won. You win. Fumbled the you bag. Win. He okay, cool. It's prize fighting. He made more money I getting knocked out and then fighting Fury more than anybody told combined on yeah. that single card. Yeah. So he's won. But it's I prize think fighting. I think th I think it was a surprise to him to realize that he would. Uh, he had no business being in there. He just he he was there for with Tyson, and there are probably a lot of reasons why Tyson. You know, he wasn't. I, he I think it's, I think it shows like that. It, like Tyson didn't take it serious, didn't train, and that's why I kept saying cats out of the bag. Yeah. If Tyson fought him again and wanted to do what he wanted to, he could. He could. He could do the same thing. Yeah, because even though Joshua dismantled him in two rounds, yeah. basically a round, right? Yeah. Knocked him on three times, but. Jo neither one of them is a good matchup. French should be a minus 10,000 against, or plus 10,000 against either of them. Correct. But stylistically, Joshua would be a better matchup if I had to pick because he will exchange and have a little bit harder than exclusive. Nah, he doesn't, but he doesn't have exclusive. Like, he doesn't have the, he's not very that, his footwork's not great compared to Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury's defense is way better than Joshua's. Mm. Neither one's a good matchup, mm. but if I had to pick, and it's like chances of Francis landing a right hand, right. I'll take Joshua. Chance of it happening not good, but yeah. if I had to pick, yeah. So yeah, if they fight, that this is how it should go. You see how big Joshua is. You see the kind of shape he's in. It's like when God made man, he, that was the mold. You know, Francis is bigger though, right? Francis is bigger, twenty pounds bigger. That's so weird. It's so weird. But when Joshua's God like made, two. I think what was Joshua two came in two forty. Two fifty five. Cut to sixty five, I believe. By the way, though, by the way, like hard to see, but Francis's head, looking at, it. but you know Joshua. And how about Francis? Never been knocked down. Nothing. No. Has a granite chin. No one acknowledges it. Has a granite yeah, chin. But not Dude, against that guy. No, nah, how that with that knockout shot? That's straight you're just gonna right. eat a, Shame. a right hand from Ugh. Anthony Joshua, two-time gold medalist. Yeah, good luck. Right, has been boxing since he was what, 17, 16? Oh, younger than that. Yeah, younger than that. So. Is that, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. It's how it goes. Nobody should be surprised. No, I don't think anybody is. What, what's next for Francis? Wilder fight. Mm. I think he stays in boxing. You do think he stays in boxing? Go to MMA, fight a Brazilian we've never heard of in PFL, make a fraction of the money. Right. You don't have many fights left, so it's all about prize fighting. So mm. Wilder, you'd make millions. Do that again and then retire. Again. But while you're not is, you're not getting the Fury rematch again, that's not happening. There's no upside for Fury in that. But I think this makes the Fury Joshua fight even bigger. We've always wanted to see that. That yeah. makes this fight even bigger. I can't wait. Oh look, I starched the guy that you struggled yeah. with. Cool. Yeah. And then Fury. What's your Joshua. take on that fight? If you had to put money on it, because I would depends what version that. of Tyson we get. Yes. Tyson ready to go all day. All day. Nightmare for Joshua. Really? All day. Yeah. Why? He, he's just he's that good. He's mm. that guy. But again, what version we get of Tyson? Yeah. You know? Let's see Tyson versus Usyk. That's a you know Usyk beat Joshua twice. Correct. Correct. Wasn't, that's how good. Wasn't close. That's how good. Usyk it wasn't com best boxer. It wasn't in terms of technique. <laughs> that's how good Usyk is. It wasn't much of a. I saw fight. a breakdown of that fight, like just the traps he was setting and stuff. Like he's just like, what the fuck? He's is the best boxer on the planet. He's the best boxer. And Fury on the has to fight him. Him, he, Terence Crawford, 
and um, that guy uh, Inoue. Those are the three. <laughs> just Monsters. like, yeah, U- Usyk's the man. Lomachenko too, by the way. You got to put him in. Uh, not right now. He's yeah. a little older, but yeah, you're right on the first time. God. Those three. God. But Fury Usyk's the fight. I That's can't a motherfucking wait. fight. Bro. That is happening. Yes. Yeah. It was supposed to happen, then Fury got hurt with the cut. Right. When they say that's happening, June? And he calls him sausage. Sausage. Isn't that right, sausage? May. Oh, wow. That's a long pretty time. soon. Nah, not too bad. May? That's pretty yeah. close. I thought it was more June. Oh, yeah? All right. May 18th. I'm excited about that. That's a hell of a fight. Wow. <sighs> Tired? No. No, exciting. Um, so for me, the UFC fights, the main card of some of the best fights. Oh, Dude, I was why well, we got let's talk about the the Curtis Blades fight first and Almeida. Almeida's a beast. I don't understand. Explain to me as a heavyweight, he went in, grabbed that single, stayed on his knees, and just stayed there. Was he trying to did he think he could pull him out he like he'd been doing? He, no, he has no striking. What else is he gonna do? No, I'm saying why so, did he stay he there? Do. Why did he stay there with his hands locked around and got hammer fists? Sometimes like that? it works. Mm. Sometimes it works for him, but now he's fighting the upper echelon guys. He was dragging him around the mat for the first. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, because Curtis plays no punk, yeah, true national champ. I know, and he was dragging him around. I was like, "Oh, Curtis might be in trouble here," and then he realized that Almeida can only grapple. Can you're can't screwed? Strike. You're screwed. That's his ceiling. That's, That's how this ceiling. goes. You'll always be fun to watch. Yeah. You're never touching the gold. No. Oh, you can't strike. <laughs> it's 2024. <laughs> It's not gonna. It's not no, gonna work. No, hang around. Hang around. <laughs> You're not gonna you, you'll, you'll, you'll choke out some guys, ten through fifteen or higher. You choke them out. But when it gets to the nitty gritty, you get knocked out. <laughs> Now you, you're going to rip off about three wins and choke some guys out. They're like, all right, let's see how he does against, uh, insert name who can strike and grapple. You're fucked. You're fucked. All good. <laughs> right? Did you? Dollar goes a long way in Brazil. It's all good. All good. Yeah. Looks good in shorts. Looks sure. Good in shorts. Great looking man. Sure. But, but when you can't strike, oh, you're fucked. <laughs> you're just fucked. At the highest yeah. level, you're fucked. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. I like the whole card. Yeah. Well, so, so did you like Michael Venom Page? Yeah. Let's get to Peter Yan and Song Yadong. I was very happy to see Peter Yan win that. A little hesitant in the first him. round. Yep. Had PTSD from Marab, just ragged on him fifty so times. So good though. Glad he got the win. Yeah, and then JDM looked fantastic. Huge win for JDM oh, over man. Gilbert Burns. That man, man, that guy. Now, now he's great. He's 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 in a very stacked division of. It's going to be Leon Edwards. He tries that. It's going to be very different. Try what? Uh, JDM. Oh, his boxing so much better, than Leon Edwards. It's, he's got to deal with the kicking and everything else. You think he beats oh, Leon Edwards? Great fight. This ain't one of those things where it's like, oh, good luck. I yeah. mean, that'd be a tough night can, in the office. He can for box. Him. He can box his ass yeah. off. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, he's a, he's he's a huge prospect. Huge. He was even is he, he a little small for the no, weight class. No, no, fuck no. He was even he was on like the Ian Gary wave where they everyone's like he's the next guy. Yeah. His his last two fights weren't great. Yeah. Knocked the door knocked the doors off anything, but he won. He still won. Right. And then they give him Gilbert Burns and boom, now he's back. Does so he, it's like Ian Gary, Sean Brady, what happens Shavkat, with him? And, what happens with him and uh, Ian Gary? Great fight. I don't know. Great yeah. fucking fight. I don't think they're gonna kill off the two young lines. I would do uh, Ian Gary versus Michael Venom Page. Let's take a break. Can we take a break from you just yapping my air off about well, artificial intelligence? I've got a lot of stuff going on, but you know, sometimes you have too much stuff going on and you want a little buzz. You want to you want to take things down a little bit. Oh, dude, oh, after sleep. dude after racing that mint four hundred, my adrenaline was through the roof. Yeah. I said I need to wind down. Have you Daddy's tried the five tired. daily buzz gummies? Dude, I brought my five daily buzz okay, gummies. Okay, because they carry they contain the plane. two to five milligrams of THC. That's just enough for you to feel it. I don't know if you know legal and. All 50 states oh, it knocked, made in the USA. Oh, I slept like a freaking dragon, a tired little dragon. Yep, tired little dragon. Well, 5CBD.com slash fighter. You can get a $40 bottle for free. All you got to do is pay shipping and handling. How about that? Okay. Wow. That's yeah. how confident they are. You guys are going to love the five flavors. daily buzz gummies. We're just giving them away. That's mm-hmm. 5CBD.com slash fighter. F-I-V-E-C-B-D.com forward slash fighter. Fighter. Now, listen, I don't like pumping. All the time. My legs get super tired and I oh, got quads. I but I want a little help. 
And I'm wondering because my lady, she's got she's she's looking to do some biking, but she wants an electric. She bike. wants a little help. Oh, she now wants you know an me. Electric I hate bike. electric, but right. when it comes to bikes, I like electric bikes. Yeah. I have one myself. Yep. And they we have one in the office. Dude, electric set one to the office. Off. I put it together. I said this thing looks pretty sweet. Didn't you it drive was, it home in the rain? It was raining hard the other day. I was like, I don't want to drive my demon in this. I'm gonna take the bike home. That thing got me home with the quickness. I think you can finance those bikes. Yep, just at, for at 49, 49 bucks a month. Because if you look at try to buy, a, a, I've been, been down this road. I wish I'd known this before because I bought an uh, electric bike. It cost me a lot of money. Oh, the thousands of dollars. Yeah. Electric bikes are at just 799 bucks, all right? Whoa. Go to L-E-C-T-R-I-C-E bikes.com. The durability, it's comfortable. This are the one they send us has these big like monster truck tires on it. It is badass. I love that, man. You can save on gas, parking, maintenance, all of oh, that. Oh, dude, I run up to air one in that thing. I run up to the gas station. I get DCs with that thing. It has up to 150 miles on one charge, one 150 freaking charge. Miles. And you can choose to pedal or just coast yep. like a motorcycle, yep. electric motorcycle. Explore 2024 with electric bikes e-bikes yep and it's not electric we're talking electric l-e-c-t-r-i-c ebikes.com electric ebikes.com and make sure you mention finally kids sent you in the post checkout survey that's l-e-c-t-r-i-c ebikes.com fuck fuck that's a oof take my money oof i think Ian take my money. i think Ian knocks him out you do mm -hmm. because Venom Page, his hands are down. He comes no, in. no, no, no. That's it. I mean, he. Venom, Michael's. You see how low his hands are? He's never been knocked out. Yes, his that that style. When you're that fast and that athletic, that'll work. I think if you lose just a step, you're 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 gonna get yourself in trouble. In trouble. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're dancing on that edge. He also has I don't know three hundred fights with his hands I mean, down. God, never been he's knocked out. Phenomenal. He's only lost I think once to Douglas Lima, right? Twice. Anytime he's faced like a grappler, that's why the UFC has to be careful who they match him up with. Yeah, they has to be, he's a fun character. Yeah. That, can he be champ? Uh, it's tough because this guy's at the top. Like If they want him to fight Ian Gary, and let's say he beats Ian Gary, and then go straight to Leon Edwards, okay, he could be, he could, if they want him to, he could be champ. Yeah. But he has, to, he has to leapfrog the grapplers. You got to forget about the Kobe Covingtons, the Shavkots, the, 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 the Sean Brady's. Nightmare for him? Nightmare. Didn't he call out Shavkat? Was he? Did he call him out? Uh, JDM did. JDM, that's big right. difference. That's right. No, that Michael Michael Venom Page would never. He doesn't want. He doesn't. He doesn't want that Russian wrestling. No, if you hear wrestling, any wrestling, fuck, yeah. you gotta get off this Russian nutsack. Yeah, that American wrestling dominates. So if you bring, if you mention wrestling about against Michael Venom Page, he goes, really? It's just not for him. He, he, I mean, all those years, he doesn't. He's got to be good on the in the clinch on the ground. There's not enough hours in the day. Really? What are you gonna do? You can't make up that time. Um, Against the elite grapplers, and you can't grapple. You so fucked. he can't grapple. No. And and the UFC just wants to keep him exciting. Well, look at Alex Pereira. It's like they made the right choices yeah. to get him to the title shot. Yeah. And now he's running with it. And then they gave him Yawn. Right. He got past that. Right. 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 So just don't give if, him those. If, if they want to, they can finagle it so he can get to the title. There's a way he can get to the title shot. It's just if the UFC likes you enough. If not. Oh, dude. If he has one bad outing, they're like, cool. Here's Sean Brady. He's going to choke him unconscious. Yeah. Really? He's a character, though. I, I, he's one of my faves, too. He's just such a character. But the UFC just has to be very careful who they match him he's up with. He's fought a lot of... Didn't he fight a lot of wrestlers in, in Bellator? No? No, dude. Well, I mean, a lot of jiu-jitsu guys. No, dude. Douglas Lima. Douglas Lima is a complete fighter. Douglas and Douglas, no, he beat him. Hold on, but he lost. A to him. Douglas beat him. Yeah, but he also and lost. And B Douglas Lima's thing is striking. It is striking. He can grapple. Yeah, but his thing is so they kickboxing. kept him. They kept him in Bellator very safe. And anytime, him. but anytime they gave him like, and also Bellator grappling compared to UFC. It, I mean, what are we doing here? I mean, it's not. It's apples and oranges. So, Ian Gary. That's the fight. That's the fight. You think that's gonna? Is that? Oh, I'm. That's what I would do, and I'm, I haven't heard any rumblings of that. I'm just Damn. if I was in the war room, that's what I would do. Yeah, man. Yeah. UFC has their plans, but that's a great fight. MVP is a massive name. Ian Gary needs one more win before he's in the top three. Yeah. Mike Van Page to see where they rank him, but stylistically, it's a great fight. Hard to just. It's hard to fucking touch the guy's face. I bet you, Ian Gary can touch his face. You do. Yep. 
Really? Why? We'll Just see. That good. Just that good. Is, the, is that town? Long, similar body. All right. It's a great fight, though. All right. Michael Venom Page. But never, never going to be UFC champion. He could. Again, they, you got you to pick his opponents. You got to cherry pick them. You got to avoid the grapplers. Well, um, what about Michael Venom Page? What, that, by the way, Leon Edwards and Michael Venom Page. That's yeah, man, I just said that. That's an interesting fight. Well, if he gets past Ian Gary, you could, like, again, you can leapfrog those grapplers and yeah. get them there if you want. Like Alex Pierre, we could do the Alex Pierre game plan where we just bounce around, avoid the grapplers, get and right get them there. there. Be a great fight. Two Brits. But avoid the, avoid two Brits. the grapplers. The UFC's done it before. Yeah. Yeah, you could do it. But he'd, he'd really have to rattle off some, like he would, in order for them to do that, he would need to knock out Kevin Holland. He'd need to knock out Ian Gary. Then they're like, all right, let's get him to the title. Yeah. But if you're just getting decisions, no, no, no. 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 Like if you beat if you beat Ian Gary via decision, next one's a grappler. You gotta you gotta have like, you know, big time knockouts in order because hmm. Alex Pierre was starching people. Yeah, starching mode. And they're like, all right, this is the guy. Okay, so the Dustin Poirier is so good I can't believe it. Dustin Poirier, BSD, I wish I'd fight every weekend. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so fucking nuts. But I, I, I was watching Benoit Saint Denis and I watched his I went down a little bit of the rabbit hole, watched some of his old fights. And as a badass as he is, I noticed one thing you can't do against Dustin Poirier, and that is swing wide like that with that power. You can't sit in front of him. You cannot. You can't no. do this because I was like, but he Dustin was, he wasn't gonna, doing that. He's going to fire. He wasn't right. doing that in the first round. Molly whopped him like, oh shit, Dustin, yeah. Dustin screwed. And then uh, Saint Denis was like, oh, forget grapple. I'm just going to sit in the pocket and exchange. It's like, oh, now you're playing the diamonds game. Now you're playing the diamonds game, and that perfect hook, that like picture perfect, just oh. I was like, "You're so good, so fucking good." That was, um, but also Dustin Dustin's ability to get out of impossible grappling situations, like impossible. He's shit. a black belt, you know. What I'm saying? Yeah, People sleep I on mean, Dustin. He's a black belt. But Benoit you know? also had been, I think, training in Hungary or where? Where was he in? in uh, no, Bulgaria with all those Russian Bulgarian, just training wrestling all the time. Doesn't you know? matter. But he's a wrestler too. He's, I guess, he's just as much a wrestler as he is a striker. He's grappling. Yeah, he's a grappler. Yeah. But remember, but, Dustin Prey's been doing a, a hot second now, man. He's been doing it a And he's hot at second. ATT. So St. Denise might be in Bulgaria. It ain't ATT. American top team is where it's at. They got yeah. savages in there. Savages. Um, just a monster, dude. Look at this. Competed in BJJ uh, at 194. So that's how what he does walking around. Large, large, big, a big 55er. Big 55er. Jesus. That fight was so good. It was so good. It was so good. The French had a rough weekend. <laughs> Francis yeah. knocked unconscious. St. Denise knocked unconscious. Yeah. And then their boy in PFL lost due to like a Who paper is cut. Who was that? Uh, what's his name? Chin? He's like the biggest prospect coming out of France in, I don't know, 100 years. Jesus. They just... Do the news and see. Oh, gets knocked out and cold. And oh, this one was no, 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 not this. But guy. look, look for this was stupid. French, so PFL French fighter. But just go to the yeah, that's fine. <laughs> the guy who fought last weekend. Oh, Cedric. Oh, yo, Dombe. Okay, it says Dombe because it's his foot, his toe. Yes, his toe got messed up. Dombe yeah. is like the biggest prospect yeah, in yeah, yeah. forever. So he lost. Francis lost. Mm. Saint Denis lost. So it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's Hardy saying the biggest prospect fight in all of MMA is Dombe. Yeah, but that was a, but he did. He literally said like enough and then he was like no i want to go on what do you mean prospect fight in mma the biggest pro prospect prospect fight. prospect like like he he's most he's, talented he was like a killer freak. kickboxer guy monster yeah he was gonna sign he could have chose ufc or pfl yeah. he went with pfl wow more money pretty much probably uh at his level probably easier fights you eat eaten alive in the ufc because of wrestling yep um <laughs> so so the sugar sean uh chito vera would fight. you think I just think Sugar Sean is uh, in a class by himself. I think he's greatness. I don't think he's good. I think he's greatness. Yep, he proved it. Yeah, and I some think of those he, rounds. I, I I agreed with the ref fifty forty four. Yeah, there's a ten eight round there. Yeah. That knee, 
<laughs> when Rogan said, sound like a bat hitting a watermelon. Yeah. He's dead on. I mean, dead on. Whack. And how tough is Cheeto to take all that shit? I mean, just and answering one of, the, back. one of the best chins of all time. Oh my god! Of and all answering time, answering back. His face, he he looked like the mask. Remember the kid from the mask? Yeah, I hate that. They, I think brutal. he might have. Did he fracture his orbital orbital bone? Do That's we know? what Sugar said. He thought he he felt something crunch. Oh man, that was tough to watch. It was tough to watch. But then Sugar lands that great body shot with like ten seconds left. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's 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 Marlon Barrow. So here's the question, B: What do you do next with Sugar? Now he asked for Topiri in Spain, in Spain, yeah. or do you do, do you do that or do you do Marab? So now hold on before you answer, fuck, man. Hold, no, before fuck you answer, right now. you're the UFC in the war room, right? I yeah. just posted this, and that's my question for Chin and Casey. And you're sitting down like, all right, what's next for Sugar? Yeah, Marab, he's an underdog, and we know what that fight's going to be about. Sugar's an underdog. Yes. Sugar be an underdog in that fight and the Topiary fight. But the Marab fights, his weight class, he'd be an underdog. Marab deserves it. Just because Marab's ragdoll wrestling, just his ability to keep coming, keep nightmare. coming, keep coming. Night nightmare. Not the striker that Sean is. No, but, yeah. but big difference. Well, wrestling dictates where the fight goes. Yeah. So he, Sugar's an underdog in that. Not the biggest fight, but still title fight. Yeah. Or Topiary, who's top five biggest stars, you can go over there and fight in Spain, Sugar, Topiary. Now, I'm not saying what's right. The right thing to do is Marab. Clearly, he deserves it. But if you're in the money, just as a businessman, not I'm, as a fan. I'm, I believe in only the money game when it comes to prize fighting. Okay. I so don't you, believe so, in anything so you, else. That's my point. So you're doing Sugar versus Topiria. And then also, this is why you do Sugar versus Topiria. Yeah. So Marab is stylistically, I'm not, Sean can beat him. Sugar can beat him. He can beat Marab. Yeah. He can beat Marab. He can yeah. figure out a way with the game plan and his coach. They can figure out a way to beat him. Regardless of that, he's still an underdog. So chance of winning aren't great, but he can beat him. So you have your top three, maybe your biggest star in the UFC. The Marab fight's a nightmare. If we're going to extend the life of Sugar, you would have him fight Topuria. Even if he loses that one, again, he'd be an underdog in that. Yeah. If he loses that one, it's all gets on his weight class. He can come back and fight Marab. Yes. So you extend I the, hear life, you. the shelf life I of hear Sugar. You. I, I, I hear you. Here's what I always worry about with a guy like Sugar, who's been, he's really escaped for the most part injury. Like, I mean, damage, damage to his head. He really has for the most part in, this, in, in his entire career. When you go up a weight class and you decide to fight somebody who is as rugged and hard hitting as Topiria, who is a champion, what you, can, what you risk doing is taking the kind of damage just because of how powerful he is and how good he is. You risk taking damage from somebody bigger than you that can really mess with you in a lot of ways. Right. Now, so, now here's the question. Not yes. what's the safe route and pussy route. <laughs> We're here to make money and it's fighting and you're talking about guys getting hit in the head, right? So fuck you, right? Because of course we know they're going to get hit in the head. I'm just Who saying, gives a flying fuck about want, that? I'm saying, CT not go all does not exist in the UFC office. I should we don't give up? a fuck about it. What the fuck are you talking about? We're looking for views and money. So you we, want, we want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> I, guys, I'm just bringing this up. I just, I just, Could you be less entertaining during this conversation? Right, but if he were to get hit in the head by a bigger man... I'm saying I don't want to see... You know, I I'm not asking <laughs> what Brian wants. I'm, I'm saying, saying as saying, a business as owner, as, sugar, as, as a UFC advisor, no, 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 as a UFC owner. Oh, that's different. I'm saying as Sugar's advisor. I, you're not his advisor. You're part. You're let me you're be his UFC advisor. matchmaker. What is well? The if you're, I'm a match, so so so. Uh, All we care about is money. If I'm a matchmaker, I got I got to I got to protect my superstar. So as a matchmaker, explain protect. Well, in other words, Just protect him, well, give no, him a no, rob. No. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, a, a, well, he takes less damage if he fights Marab, but but it doesn't matter. Yeah, but protect he would. Marab's a nightmare. So you're not protecting Marab's a nightmare. Marab's wrestling is a nightmare, but there are ways to deal with that, right? The, 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 Sh Sean's got to stand and bang with Taparia. No, he doesn't. He can stand outside, use his distance. He's, yeah he's longer yeah a lot longer very smart yeah. his iq i think it showed high IQ. high iq high iq you think he's gonna sit there and, and strike with mm, well, he's gonna yeah, sit on the outside be smart use his length yeah 
B, let's take a little break because listen, we're both getting older, man. Are you finding it a little harder to build muscle as you get? Yes, I am. To the back nine alive. Yes, I am, buddy. Dude, most guys over 35 start to notice decline in your performance because of low T. Oh. This can wreak havoc on your brain, your metabolism, your energy, and your sex gain. Yeah, this is why a lot of men turn to TRT, actually. Dude, tell me about it. Yeah, but you know, hormone therapy isn't for everyone. There can be risks and even side effects, as we know. Yeah, but, but you had some good news, like naturally how to do this and support testosterone production and get that energy boost we all crave. Oh, is this, is this the, the thing called V-Shred? What? V create a new performance they, these guys have created a new performance bundle for guys who want to build muscle get lean and enjoy more energy Dude. their test boost max supplement is designed to help your body produce more testosterone by flooding your cells with just the right dosage of plant-based ingredients Damn. whoa 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 they got american ginseng cordyceps mushrooms which are awesome Long jack root, I've never taken, <coughs> but I like how it sounds. A long jack root. root. That's it. I call that my long jack root. And right now, V Shred is giving away a copy of their ripped in 90 days workout program for free when you try Test Boost Max. This is the ultimate bundle for the bros who want to get ripped and build muscle or simply increase your endurance. Mm -hmm. Just head to Sculpt Nation. That's right, sculptnation.com slash fighter and kid. Mm -hmm. To claim the special offer for V Shred now and check out the video that explains everything in detail. Uh, again, that's www.sculptnation, S C U L P T nation.com forward slash fighter and kid. Damn, sculpt that body. Hey, you know who makes that sweatshirt, this sweatshirt, and who makes my underwear? True Classic. Oh, our fave. Yep. And uh, I, but do I, they I only specialize in t shirts? Because we, <laughs> on, on thinkboy.com, we've used them forever. Yeah. T-shirts is how they made their name. Now they have the best sweatshirts, in my opinion. In the, how about the, game. the crew? Uh, you'll I, see me in the crew next. All I wear. I love. I love their crew next. The crew next. Like their the hoodies. joggers. The I love their joggers. I love their joggers. The button ups are awesome. Yeah, I was gonna rock it on Game Bread, but they wanted me to wear a suit. Yeah, if you're muscular too, they they will cling to your body. Even if you're not, it still shows it off the makes pipes. you look more muscular than you are. That's yep. what I love about these. They things. have hoodies. They have jackets. They got joggers, crew necks, the best t-shirts in the game. Soft. And you can get a, for a limited time only twenty five percent off when you stop and shop with this freaking trueclassic.com slash fighter. All the shirts are made to hit the right places where the eyes go first. Tighten the arms and chest, but with the perfect amount of room for your midsection. Best part is that True Classic sells their premium products in packs to help you save. Get started with a two, three pack of t-shirts today. Feel the difference for yourself. By the way, the, let's not sleep on their jeans. Their jeans are unbelievable. They're joggers, dude. What kills me is the, 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 literally the quality. The quality is They're is, so is good. So if you're ready to upgrade your closet shop right now with this exclusive link, trueclassic.com slash fighter, save up to 25% off your first order. All right? No matter how you make your move, make 2024 your most comfortable year yet with True Classic. That's trueclassic.com slash fighter. You're welcome. You're welcome. <sighs> yeah. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. If you, if you want to get the most out of sugar, you're going to send you the saw Spain. What, you saw what Tapiria did to, in many ways, one of the best strikers to ever step into the octagon at 45, Volkanovsky. Just put his hands on you. No yeah, but Volkanovski is a smaller guy. He yeah. played the game, exchanged with him against the fence. Same frame. You think Sugar's going to entertain that? No. No. And Name one person that got Sugar against the fence. Younger. Like that. Yeah. Peter Young couldn't do it? No. No. Yeah. Be very interesting. It's very interesting. I mean, certainly the money is in that fight going up to 45, That's right? That's the only reason we're doing this. And this is, do you think the UFC got in his ear or he, he made that choice? He made that choice. He made that choice. Let me go. UFC up. really doesn't like when guys bounce around. Right. But how cool. But if it's there, it's you imagine there. if he takes that 45 pound belt? Jesus. But here's my thing even if he doesn't, all he good. Go guys right do it down. all. Izzy did it at 205. Come right back down. Yeah. Alk Bokonovsky Makchev. No one gives a shit. You lose. All right. Bigger guy won. Big deal. Come back down. You're still the champ. Come down. Yeah. Now you got to win when you come back down. Yeah. Otherwise, then it gets well, really Marab's sad. Well, Marab's waiting in his pink suit. Yes. Marab's waiting in his pink suit. Now, I'm not. The right thing to do is Marab Sugar. That's the fight. I mean, if we're talking about legit sport here, it's Marab. Yeah. But I'm here to make money. Yeah. And extend the shelf life of sugar. No, I like it. I like it. I'm, uh, you know, 45 is a different game. Different game. Because Tobir is in a tough spot, too. I guess you do Brian Ortega in Spain? No. And Brian Ortega... Doesn't want Topiria. He does. The same thing could, I know, but the same thing <coughs> could happen to him with Volkanovsky. It could very well happen to him. 
with Topuria. Well, it could happen to anyone. Be yeah, that's not what you want to take geez, the fight you know, for. Fuck, he sakes. would be the one to fight. Who else? Yes. Who else is no? Nope. Max Holloway's the next contestant, but he's fighting three hundred. They 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 blew their wad. Hold, hold on, let they me did, see. They're doing Max Justin Gaethje. There's nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else. At forty five. Nobody else. That's, that's why I think Sugar has a chance to get in this fight. Okay, hold on. Volkanovski needs a rest. Not happening. Max Holloway, of course, but they wasted it and blew it on 300 for no reason to fight Justin Gaethje for the BMF title. Brian Ortega coming off a big win. Yaya Rodriguez wow. just lost. Okay. Mozart, nobody's ever heard of, so uh, he can't do that. Uh, Arn Allen can't do that. Josh yeah. Emmett can't do that. Yeah. Wow. Now what you... I didn't know Brian was ranked number three. Yeah. I he did just not beat know Fuck. Now what you could do... That's right. ...is if... Aljo were to starch Calvin Cater to Aljo Topiria in Spain. Mm. That's UFC 300. Interesting. Former champ versus the champ. Yep. That would sell. Yep. Um, UFC doesn't like Aljo, though, so I doubt that happens. Why don't they like him? Too much to get into, man. I don't really? Have, I don't have time. Really? I don't have time. <laughs> Really? I don't have time to educate you. <laughs> really? You're going to have to read the forms. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I don't I, have time. I didn't have... I don't... I'm sorry about that. No, it's all right. No, because I was just wondering. No, you're I, casual. What's that? You're casual. <laughs> so it gets a little too much. Now, now, can we go back to 35? Corey Sanhagen. Uh, he's going to fight... Is he going to fight... Um, who's Umar? he fighting? Umar. I think Nugger he's fighting Madoff? Umar. That's a tough fight, but that's Very what he wants fight. to do. You could make the argument that that the guy who's Marab with striking is Umar Nurmagomedov. You could make that argument. He's um, ranked 10, Brian. Doesn't matter. So he's not in this party. Nobody wants to fight him. No, 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 nobody knows who he is. That's right. We're in the line. We're in the business of making fucking money. Uh, yes, but Umar. You're Nurmagomedov, worried about head trauma and no, uh, on ranked fighters. Umar Nurmagomedov is a very exciting fighter. He could deliver pizza to this fucking office yes, right now. You're gonna Not a see, single person would ask him for he's a selfie. Got a famous last name. That's the problem. Got to say, hold on. It until he beats someone like Marab or someone. He's, like that. You know, he's he's. Two, three fights away from this well, conversation. If he, right if, he now. if he beats Corey, Corey Sandhagen, we're all still gonna not be, gonna we're all gonna be going, hey, what's going on here? He would have to beat Corey and one more. Hey, listen, look at me. I'm gonna say this on this podcast. Remember his name. No, we all know he's good, Brian. That's not we're Remember you're, the name. You're, you're missing the point here. Remember that name. We're in the business of making money. Right. We can't sell But I'm in the Umar business. Right but now. but Umar is once they see how exciting he is. There, there, you're that's I know, gonna be but my point it takes a time. Is he gonna yeah. get there? It's gonna yeah, take for some sure. Time. It's gonna take some time. 2025, come talk to me. Yeah, he's gonna be ready to go. Yes, we're talking about now, bitch. <laughs> you talking about right now? I'm talking about right now. You're talking about now. You gotta make money now. Uh -huh. We got a TV rights deal coming up. Yeah, you're talking about Umar Nagamurdov. You're talking about we can't sell that to Netflix, stupid fuck. You can't sell that. No, dude, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Look, man, be cool, all right. Just be cool, all right? Look, I'll give, if you want Sean Elia to, to appear, I'll give it to you. That's wild. Is that what you want? Dude, that's going to piss so many people off I recommended that. Yeah, dude. People are going to be pissed. What? What do you mean? Because Marab, I mean, it's Marab's fight. Because what I do you know, do with but, Marab? But, but are they going to let him fight Topiria in Spain? That's exciting as shit. Right? And sugar? Yeah. Uh, they definitely consider it, especially since Sean asked for it. So what do you do with Marab? You'd have Marab fight Corey Sanahagen? You let Marab sit in the wings. He has to stay active. He can't sit out so of So let here. him fight Corey. Yeah, that's what I'd do. It's so fucked up. It, it ain't right. It's the same way Bilal Muhammad deserves a title shot. Yeah. And they're just not doing it. Yeah. It's so fucked yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, in, in, if it's a sport, then it should be Marab, Sugar, Bilal, Leon. If it's but, the WWE TKO money making business, which is exactly which is, what they are, which it is, hey, none of those guys fighting. It's so fucked up. Your wrestling counts against you. Your wrestling can actually. But Rob's up to his profile. He's funny online. He's he great. Talk, yeah, he's great. He was talking to fucking. He was talking to the. Uh, um, uh, you got that? Zuck. Yeah, as he's being like his literally ass. the whole time, like winking at. Yeah, him, I know. Kissing him. Zuck, rock hard. Yeah. I was like, what is going on here with this guy? Wild. It was nuts. We'll see what they do, though. It's interesting, right? It's it's interesting. And I think you're going to see Topuria O'Malley. That's the fight. Topuria came out and said, though, he, he goes, you got to get through Marab first before you get to me. 
that's not to Perry as uh, Oh, that's mom. what I, the, the Jim brought it up and his mom was like, that's right, you get through her up. Oh, you guys think you have an opinion that's, that counts that's not, here. Yeah, you're, you're, oh no, you're going to fight whoever the fuck we tell you to. I mean. You have, you've had the belt for 15 seconds. Yeah, man. You're, it does not work out. Getting through Marab, no. it's, it's, If the UFC it's, says, here's Sugar and here's why and here's your payday, they're going to go, we'll fight him. Correct. Yeah. I, uh, is there, what, do you think Islam Makachev goes up to 70? Eventually? I don't know, man. Why do you ask? I think you'll see that soon. Uh, he has some work to do. I mean, they did offer him the fight against Leon at 300. Yeah. Which during Ramadan. Yeah. It must be exhausting being a UFC matchmaker. The worst. So she want to do the undercard? Good God. God damn it. Good God. Beast. Beast of it. Mick Maynard is amazing. Just salt of the earth. Is he? And Sean Shelby? Yeah, I love yeah. Sean Shelby. Just well, a there it bitch is, of a job. There it is. Such such exciting fights. Oh, they were good fights. Fuck. I live for those days. Damn. I flew home early just so I could watch from the prelims to the main event. Incredible. I don't miss them. Oh, what were they, what you were get they, a large I pizza. I didn't see the, the only prelim I saw was the uh, uh, Curse Blades fight. W were there anything else that I have to see? Uh, Gamrot destroyed RDA. Yeah. Macy Barber looked fantastic. Kyler Phillips. Pedro Munoz is a big one. Mm. Again, you have to do this research on your own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to get into it. I don't have time. What else you got, Chin? Uh, I was telling you, Brennan. Yeah, I didn't tell, uh, <laughs> tell Brian. When I was at that place that I usually go to, it's called Beer Garden in K-Town, L.A. When Trump was walking K -Town out. K-Town meaning Koreatown? Koreatown, yeah. Koreatown, right. L.A. Trump got a lot of love. When Trump came out, not mm -hmm. just on screen, but everyone at the place just started going crazy. I'm really? like, what the heck? Yeah, Korean. It's so yeah. crazy, yeah. yeah. It was such They're a conservative. trip. conservative. That's wild, man. They go crazy for him. It's not crazy. wild. Our country's in a fucking disarray because of Biden's dumbass. Yeah. It's not crazy. It just happens Trump's the only other option. So you're going to root for that guy, even though if you you're don't like him. You're going to root against Biden. Yeah, right. that's all it is. Yeah. You're rooting against Biden. That's right. It could be anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. There's a truck of the Met 400. On the side of it, it said Trump 2024. And the back said, go Brandon. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The entire paint job was fuck Trump, was <laughs> fuck Biden. Yeah. Like, all right, that's, giant American flag. That's trucks, baby. Truck culture. All righty. Okay, guys. Um, so a 70 million year old giant dinosaur skeleton was found. <coughs> like full thing. Skull, mm. tail. Guy, mm. an amateur archaeologist and his dog are just walking around and they look on the side of the hill and they see something weird. They go look into it a little more and it's a full blown dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur, though, before I get a too excited? Titanosaur. Oh, a sword. Uh, titanosaur. Is that also, uh, would that be one with teeth or is this one that eats plants? Because if it's not idea. dangerous, Dude, be cool, I don't give a fuck. Come on, Come no, on. Be cool. no, bro, be cool. No, don't be it, so. no, it has to be Are dangerous. Are you saying it's a cock dinosaur that you're not Yeah, it's a bitch dinosaur. Hold on. Go back. Go back to the picture. That guy's interesting. Which one? The one on the Both left. of them. <laughs> uh, anyway, they found that. Look at that. But I hate when they say they found it completely. Well, I guess they did. I guess it's no, Did it say what kind of a T-Tac source it is? Titanosaur? It says Titanosaur. Amazing, though. Uh, right there. Family of long neck herbivores. Oh, uh, yeah. We lost Brent. <laughs> I'm out. Dude, come on. If you can't kill bro, me. Please. Also, did, but did they dude, find feathers or anything? Remember they're saying they have feathers on them? Yeah, but I don't know if those do. Not all of them have feathers. Just the T-Rex? I think so, but but just be cool, bro. Don't. No, those are stupid. Where did they find it at? France. Yeah. It's a French dinosaur, dude. It'd be like 40 million years from now finding a... No. You know, cow? Yeah. No. <laughs> finding a cow and then being like, check it out. No. Oh, no, dude, come oh on. cool. Come on, it's a French dinosaur. Be cool, dude. Oh, got, God. That means he can't fight. Those guys couldn't be more French. They have sc sc they have scarves on while looking for dinosaurs. The French are always All the scarves. dust, bro. All the French have scarves. It's all the dust. Let's just take a break for a second because I, I got I to gotta get some auto parts. 
Um, oh yeah, you have some I need problems? windshield wiper blades. That's what I really need to be. Dude, and with. I think the battery on your stupid car is running a little low. Yeah. Go to go to my friends at O'Reilly. They're super friendly, super knowledgeable. If they don't have the part, they will order it for well, you. You go through parts hard because you drive hard. I drive hard. I drive true. Like you drive hard American. and true. So you need quick service. You need a brake light fix. Dude, O'Reilly had parts in stock for a twenty-year-old Ford Lightning. That, is that true? Yeah, that's and if crazy. They didn't have it. They got it to me the next morning. That's impressive. And then I needed a tool, and I'm like, "Well, I'm only gonna use this once. I don't need to buy this." several hundred dollar tool they went huh, you dumbass we have you can rent it that's right when you're a do-it-yourselfer you need a specialty tool to finish the job stop by o'reilly auto you can parts rent a tool. ask about their loaner tool program wow. that's right simply pay a refundable deposit and borrow the right tool get the job done then so, give so, it back get your deposit back. so it's, it's basically a one-stop shop for all things do it yourself auto do it yourself stuff right the best of the best whether you're a car aficionado or auto rookie you'll find the employees at o'reilly auto parts are super knowledgeable helpful best of all friendly friendly my guy ryan super friendly friendly ryan was friendly mm -hmm. professional parts people at o'reilly auto parts are your one-stop shop for all things auto do it yourself and you can find what you need in store or online stop by o'reilly auto parts today or visit them at o'reillyauto.com slash fighter that's o'reillyauto.com slash fighter oh oh o'reilly this episode uh, of the Fire Kid is brought to you by Progressive Insurance, Brian. Mm. Most of you listening right now, you need insurance, but you're like, I don't know what to do. Let's make it easy. Use Progressive. You can save up to $750 on average, okay? And auto customers qualify for an average of seven di discounts. Discounts for having multiple vehicles on your policy, being a homeowner, and more. All right? Just so like your favorite podcast, <laughs> Progressive will be with you 24-7, 365 days a year, so you're protected no matter what. That's Quote right. your car insurance at Progressive.com. Join over 28 million drivers who trust million. Progressive. Yeah, Damn. dude. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates. National average 12-month savings of $744 by new customers surveyed who saved with Progressive between June 2022 and May 2023. Potential savings will vary. Discounts not available in all states and situations. Progressive. Yeehaw. What else you got, Chin? Next one. Next one. Madonna was apparently like yelling at a fan, why are you sitting down during my show? And then when she looked a little closer, the fan was in a wheelchair. Yeah. Everybody get on your feet. Yeah. Hey, you. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, the read video? the room, Madonna. It's so awkward. <laughs> I don't even want to see it. It just depresses All me. All right. Okay. But, but um, you know, that's like my, my friend was doing a... Uh, a play and on Broadway and there was somebody making a ton of noise and he's like he stopped and said can you stop making all that noise please Aww. and the dude was in a lung he was in a <gasps> you know one of those things and he was like no oh god anyway back to my scene like, you're good Fuck. back in character yeah so bad <sighs> oh we didn't talk about the mint 400 right totally forgot Four hours. Four hours should have been 12 hours, but our car broke down on the second lap. A ball bearing fell off. It was the coolest thing I've ever done. Also, one of the hardest things I've ever done. Yeah, you're driving it was, four and a half hours, and I hear you were on a ledge. A oh, lot of the time. up a mountain. You know how when you look out in the mountains and there's like no path? Yeah. They're like, there's the trail. I'm like, where? And if we like fall the off, mountain, I die. Die, yeah. There was a few times during those four hours where I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. I'm driving a stick Volkswagen Bug. That's not good. Wild. A, a stick Volkswagen, stick. not four, known four for speed. Their, not Well, this thing's their. built for off-roading. It right. it's, it's when cool. I say Volkswagen Bug, it's just the shell, but still, I was supposed to drive a class one car, like, you know, thousand horsepower, big wheels, tires. I did the Volkswagen Bug, which probably How I should have been How fast are you in. going typically? I averaged 25 miles an hour. <laughs> And, but that, I know you're like, Jesus, they, no, no, you're I, like, anybody can do that. No. <clears throat> but on, there's no, there's, you got to realize, you're crawling up There's, there's really rocks. no, yeah, there's no. Uh, no, so on the straight, the re only reason it's 25 is sometimes you're going 80 to 90 miles an hour. Sometimes you're going 10 right. over these crazy boulders. And it was, the A, one of the most dangerous things I've done, but B, also one of the best things I've done. Yeah. I was so dehydrated. I, I bet you I were. I had to piss, the guy goes, just go. I'm like, but you're, I'm like, what do you mean? But before, thank God for Donald Cerrone. I wasn't prepared in any facet. 
Me and Donald link up. My truck's not ready to go. I had engine problems. They wait till the day of the the race to tell me. That's cool. So Donald goes, dude, I got you. I brought my bug. I'm sorry, what'd you say? He goes, I brought my Volkswagen bug. People do it. It's going to be rough, though, dude. It's going to be really rough and stick. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I just wanted to drive and compete. So I'm like, I'll do it. So the night before, it's midnight. We're out there on testing it. It's so dark. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Me and my brother are in there. <clears throat> Next day, Don goes, uh, you have the neck protector thing? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, bro, you can't race if you don't have the neck protector. What do you, it's the Dale Earnhardt thing. You know how Dale crashed oh, right. with his neck? You have to wear that in order to race. Yeah. So I had to get one of those. He gives me one of those. And then he goes, um, and you got your catheter, right? What? I'm like, I'm sorry. He's like, dude, you're going to be in here for like 12 hours. You're just going to hold your piss? I was like, I didn't even think about it. He's oh, like, fuck. no, do you need a catheter? So it's a long tube that goes down your pants and sticks out the side, and you connect it to your dick. Yeah. And I'm looking at him like, I didn't want I, I, I didn't want to seem like I didn't know what I was doing, but I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. I go, Cowboy, let me talk to you. In case he got this all in film, let me talk to you real quick. How do you put this on? Because I just thought you put it in your pee hole. Oh my god! Yeah, and he's like, no, dude. There's an end, and he's like, it's gonna be better if you chub up a little bit, and then you roll it on, and it'll stay on, and then you just you're driving, you just piss. You put it out the side of your leg, and you just piss. So I'm like, no doubt. I'm, dude. It's the day of the race. It's cold. I'm in uh, Cowboy's RV. I'm like trying to get it on. It's trying to get a limp dick into a girl. It's just not happening. No. <laughs> I'm like trying to wake him up. It's not happening. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just slide down. So I like, stretch it out like a like you know like a fucking slinky. Yep. I put it on, I'm like, mm, that should stay. It's pretty sticky. Soon as I go to lift one leg up to get in the bug, it pop, I can feel it pop oh. off. I'm like, I'm only driving four hours. And you know me, I piss every 30 seconds. I was like, so I'll hard. be all right. And so we're going, and I have to pee so bad. It hurts so bad. And my co driver, Greg, the best guy ever, he's like the master of all bugs. And he goes, Man, you're usually a chatty cat. You haven't talked in like 45 minutes. And I went, I have to pee so bad I can't focus on anything else. He goes, oh, I know how that goes. He goes, just go. I go, what do you mean? He goes, just go. I'm like, just piss my pants. He goes, guys do it all the time. He goes, the problem is you're, we have three and a half hours to go. You're probably going to have- take my dick out and piss He's, he's like, car, you have shit. So he goes, can you hold on to the wheel and unzip it? I'm like, I think so. So he's like, try and do that. So I'm like, shift it. You know, I'm going. And he's like, let's wait till we get to a smoother part. Which is smoother. There's no smooth there's no part. Smoother. So we're still like this the whole time. We're like this. And he goes, okay, I'm going to get the wheels. Leave in second gear. Up. So I get, and he goes, get your dick out. And I just zipped it and then just. Ew. Just pissing everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you got then, it. <laughs> but it felt so good. And yeah. You pissed right in the. in right On the bottom of the. And then I took water. Because no. there's a hole in the yeah, bottom. There's a hole. Piss right there. But those guys just wear a catheter and just piss. I've had to pee like in traffic where you just, you know, you just use a kit tennis can or anything. Yeah, that shit is so, that that shit is so wild, dude. That truck driving, it's so. And wild. It, it, all it is is like race crash fix, race crash fix. The amount of money you have to have to compete in that is wild. Really dude. wild, M millionaires. Those those trophy trucks are like minimum million bucks. Then you have to have a whole team that fixes it repairs it you have the rvs the the trailers the trucks like it's a whole it's a rich man's sport the richest man's sport the richest it Great. was so fun though it was wild it didn't hit me till i got back on sunday i was like because you're so focused in it i was so you're sore right i'm yeah sore yeah yeah i was so deep my lips physical. my it's lips so were physical. my lips were white because yeah, i was just you, like you had water though they have a thing where you can hook it to the because you're locked in, you're like strapped in, right? Oh, so oh, you're Jesus. like there's, you're right. like strapped, so you you yeah. can't really move for four hours. And you're not pulling over to piss. No, you got to win the race, so it's just like, mm -hmm. Jesus and then it's all about, especially the Mint 400, one of the toughest tracks in the world. It's all about finishing. So they told me out the gate, like, there's gonna be a lot of egos involved. There's big jumps. We're not here to do that. We just got to finish, and we're in a place. Like most cars are gonna break down. You're gonna see soon. Soon enough, a mile in, cars are breaking down. The, the track is so rough. Every, most 90% of people broke down. God. Because damn. like a, a we, we couldn't finish because one of the ball bearings just ripped off. It's like the there's a part of it where I was like, what the fuck are we doing, man? I was like, how can this bug get over this rock? What are we going to do? He's like, get to do it. Just put in first gear. And you're like, look, the, your instinct's like, no, dude, go around. But you got to go up and over. Good God. It was so wild. Dude. Right, do you have I learned so much. I oh, yes. Yeah.
That's so cool. It was so dope. I want to watch this. Cow and I'm telling you, Cowboy's a badass. Dude. He's a bad. He's an American badass. Me and Rogan used to call him the American. He's badass. such a badass. He's a fucking. And he's good, man. He's hell fucking yeah. good. He's a hell of an athlete. You know what it is? You got to have that. And he had it in <laughs> fighting. I didn't. You have to have that. No fucks given. Like just go. Yeah. I like. One yeah, of the guys got adrenaline kinda, junkie kind of thing. I'm not adrenaline junkie. I like the racing. I like the way. trucks. I love all that stuff. But also, I'm a little hesitant where it's like I don't get hurt here because right. there was guys before that rolled, broke their back. Fuck. Like the major. I mean, you're talking about heavy trucks, crazy course, and you're in the middle of nowhere. You were in Prim, Nevada, in the middle of nowhere. Prim. It was so much fun though. It was dope. Fucking a. It you was get dope. Addicted to that if you do it enough. Oh uh, yeah, it was so much fun. Oh, do you mean Kimmel, Kimmel mocks Donald Trump at Oscars? Well, that's because Trump yeah. tweeted uh, yeah. on Truth, talked shit about Jimmy Kimmel. Trump I watched tweeted. the Oscars. It made me watch Oppenheimer finally because they won all the awards. So last night I was like, let me check it out. It's good. <laughs> Look at Donald. Yeah. Yeah. Trump put out a pretty nasty tweet and Jimmy clapped back. He read the tweet live on the Oscars. Really? Yes. Has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? His opening was that of less than average person trying hard to be something which he is not and never can be. Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent, George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> Slopenopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Also a really bad politically correct show tonight. And for years, disjointed, boring, and very unfair. Why don't they just give the Oscars to those that deserve them? He ain't lying. Maybe that way their audience and TV ratings he will come back from the depths. Make America great again. He ain't lying. <laughs> and then Jimmy came out and said, see if you can guess which former president <clears throat> just posted this on Truth Social. No, his biggest, he goes, isn't it past your prison time? Jail time, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, boy. I thought Jimmy did good. J good. Jimmy does Jimmy. Mm -hmm. It's the Oscars. A tough gig. You oh, see, yeah. Cena came out like naked, kind of. Who's jacked? Jacked. Yeah, I always watch the Oscars. Yeah. It's. I never there's no American that. Idol because that bullshit or whatever. Um. So Rudy Gobert, this is this is kind of a silly to me. So he plays for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's a pretty good player. He defense player, had yeah. a gesture, which was like a money sign gesture at the refs after a, he got. Fouled or something, and the NBA fined him a hundred grand. Now, was, was he saying the refs are paid? So, yeah, this ref actually is the same one of the same refs that was involved way back in the like ref betting scandal that there was. Yikes! So, he was like doing that to him, saying, like You're rigging the game. Yeah, NBA is not going to act kindly, but a hundred grand you can't have that, you can't have it. Much these guys make too. Hundred yeah, grand ain't shit to Rudy, Rudy Gobert. Uh, I can't second. show up, but I'll play for them. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, that's. I uh, don't know. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd call that a foul. Yeah, that that seems a little bit excessive. A hundred right. grand just for doing this. Like you don't know what he was doing there. But he was. He was. You know. Signaling like they're paid, rigging yeah. the game. You can't have an NBA. Can't have that. They're just trying to make a point out of him. And he has the money. Who gives a fuck? He was defense player of the year. What twice? He's a stud. Yeah. Came from the jazz. I did. Still a lot of money. All right, so I follow this uh, YouTube channel called Outdoor Boys. I bet you do. <laughs> it's like a, a dad who used to Are be. Uh, he's probably still an attorney, but he's an attorney. Anyways, this is their um, Instagram handle. But check this out. This is a moose chasing <coughs> a chasing a brown bear. bear. Yeah. Tight move by the bear. Is it sea in the water, bitch? Oh, no. Look at that. <laughs> Damn. That just looked pretty Who crazy. Who would win in that fight? I think Probably the moose because he's older. Oh, well, it looks like I a mean, mama moose. It's not yeah. a male moose. It looks like a mama moose, and that bear got too close to her cubs. Mm. Oh. So, I mean, her, her babies. Potentially. Mm -hmm. mama and moose. Brendan hates EVs, but this oh, guy yeah. has any sparks. Dude, I passed one of those rigid trucks, the electric rigid yeah. trucks in the Volkswagen Bug. You're talking about the uh, Tesla one? No, the rigid is uh, uh, Rivian? Rivian. 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 Yeah, Rivian. the Rivian. Yeah. I passed the Rivian yeah. on the course. I was going, fuck yeah, fuck you. My co driver was like, Jesus, dude, relax. I'm like, oh, I hate electric. <laughs> but check so out, I starched it. Oh. <laughs> but check out how badass this is. It's a cyber truck. They call it cyber tracks for the snow. Mm, pretty Be cool, cool to rust out in the snow. 
<laughs> As or, you don't or, think or, or, or you got to charge it 200 miles in. As a mechanical engineer, my goal is to make sure EVs are just a fad. I promise they are not the future. They just have brainwashed people into thinking that EVs are better than they are. <laughs> Birdman.177, that's, that's also my boy. burner account. That's your boy. <laughs> I love that guy. That looks really Vin diesel -y. Yeah, it's you, it just looks badass. stupid. They had it one at the, they had one <laughs> oh. they had one for a show at the uh, Mint 400 VIP. Yeah. So this is an old video Manny of Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao like I think this is, might be his acting debut and there's nothing to it just watch it. <laughs> She's about to get hit. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. You don't dig it as much as he's I do. It's actually pretty funny, man. It is, right? He's it's pretty, like from he's way like, he's back, not, He's too. good enough to not act. Like, he's like, I got him. <laughs> he's totally stone-faced. Oh, this is Dude, I crazy. saw this. I was thinking about this. So you, when people talk about meteorites hitting the earth, yeah. like how big of a deal can be? When you see this, it's not a small boulder. No, but it's no, not no. big. Yeah. Now think of it. The size of the United States flying at the Earth. Not, not, that's what, I mean, not that, a good situation. I mean, look at, watch this, dude. It looks yeah. like a fucking so yeah. atomic yeah. bomb went off. Peru. And thankfully, everyone. Survived. No way. They survived yeah. this? Yeah. Oh, I thought everyone was dead. No. Watch this. Where's the volume at? No one. Watch this. <gasps> Boom! Oh my God. Keep watching. So I think the people in this car are okay. That one in the first one, probably gone. No, they said that thankfully the boulders hit the back end of all the vehicles. Holy but shit. But that first one looked insane, right? It looked like a fucking missile. Dude. Yeah. What? Now think of one the size of the United States hitting the Let earth. me see that one more time. Huh? Yeah, that's insane. It that's comes so out of crazy. nowhere. Watch. <gasps> oh. Boom! Oh. Look at what it did to the road. Oh, for Christ's sake. And that hit that. Is that hitting the car? Oh and the road's just donezos. Yeah. But I mean, from the reports Holy I read, it said shit. everyone survived. No, There's no deceased reports. I guess Damn. I believe that. Well, <laughs> yes. guys, it didn't hit the cabin. It might have just hit the body of the truck. But Jesus, like, what the fuck? Imagine. Hey, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean. Fucking A. I mean, there's those boulder slides all the ah. time about Malibu, Topanga Canyon. 100%. Dude, you're so far. I'm always. So, yeah, there's a trail down here to go to the PCH, right? From here to PCH, that one little, is it Topanga Canyon? Yeah, yep, that's Topanga. That that I ride my bike on there. I would see like little rocks. Malibu Canyon, same thing. Down. No. Malibu, Malibu Canyon is mm -hmm. the same thing. It's thing. over. That thing hits you, game There's over. one where, where it was fatal, where you see the thing just crush. Oh man, man! No, I, I think we shouldn't talk about that because I don't want to get us. Did he get seven happened. eyes? <laughs> Let me see what happened. Did he grow a, a tail? Man, remember he got two hundred and seventeen COVID shots. Here's what happened. Oh my god! A six-year-old from Mamberg, Liberty, got two hundred seventeen COVID nineteen vaccine shots in the span of twenty-nine months. So that means nice. like basically once every four days. Yeah, you do COVID shots, and then they said that his immunity didn't change that much. Yeah, I guess he oh, still yeah. got COVID. I don't know. Yeah. They said he still got it COVID. Didn't result in any adverse health And he wore a mask. All right, well. The mask yeah, and COVID a, shots are like you does. It's at this wild. point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all right, that's good enough for now. Wait, what was the other one? You had something. <laughs> There's else. one that's a Chinese EV that actually looks pretty badass to me. Yeah. Um, and it can shake off snow like, you know. Like a dog? Like a dog. That's what really? it says. That's I'll cool. just show you real quick. I gotta get one of those. There's music yeah, like, that I can't play in the background. So I guess if you leave it outside in the yeah, winter. Where is that necessary? In China, maybe. If you live in, in North you know, China. certain parts of Colorado. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, nothing too impressive. It's not going to help the windshield. But I think the car alone actually looks pretty badass. Yeah. It's kind of like a Genesis Tesla. That's it right yeah. there? Mm -hmm. It's just okay. It's gay. It's like a <laughs> Mazda <laughs> RX-7 or whatever it is. You just hate EVs, dude. No, but the, that thing... If that was gas powered, you wouldn't even shake a bat an eye to it. Right. But we gotta yeah. pretend these new EVs are cool. Yeah. Bless you. I'm allergic to. Yeah. 
<laughs> Chinese EVs, I guess. Yeah. Yes, good. And yeah. this one we can't show on air because it's a nature, it's like a Whoa, National Geographic, but it's it. such a badass video. 60 year old grandmother orca kills great white in incredibly rare moment. So uh, we might have to watch ads beforehand, so but let's cool. see. Let me refresh. But it's a dope ass piece of footage. Damn. Once it loads up. Anyway, while we're waiting for these nine minutes for this download, do you see Logan or uh, Jake Paul and Tyson? Fight? I did. What do you think? Um, you know, Tyson's my age. Yeah, he's old. He's fifty nine. Fifty seven. Is he fifty seven? Yep. Fifty seven. Yep. And he can still hit. I think he's fifty eight, but still same. I my question is, what does he do about? Um, Speed, quickness. Oh, he's fit to seven. Yeah, no, no endurance. Like, like it, you know, the, if the fight goes six rounds, you know, that's a lot to fight. When, My only when question is, what, like, what are the parameters? Like, what are the? Is it a glorified sparring match, like Roy Jones, where they can't really hit to the head hard? Is that what they say though? No, no, no I'm, I, they, right. I'm asking questions. We, yeah. there's, we have nothing. No, I'm saying, could they? Could they even do that? Of course, they he, they did it before. Yeah. Yeah, they, what does it mean when they call it an exhibition? That if you know, they call it an exhibition, yeah, they, oh, it's we're getting some. Oh, then it's not going to be le legit. Oh, yeah, huh? Well, uh, so like Roy Jones and Mike Tyson, remember they just did body shots, no head shots to the head. Yeah. That you can do. That's oh. yeah. But it's, but it's know. a Trojan horse. It, it's good for combat sports. If Jake Paul and Tyson get live fighting into the Netflix, Netflix the biggest in the world. Great, because UFC will be right behind it. So you want this to do well. No matter if you like Jake Paul or not, you want this to do well. Uh, yeah. All right, forget about my computer. What do you it's think fun. about that? Do you think uh, I, I need to know the rules? Oh, is that real? That's what that. That's what just. Oh happened. man, a lot yeah. of splash. Did you see that? Go back. Go back. Watch here we go. This. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Damn Gray it! White, Gray White just hanging out. Bam! <coughs> Dude, smacks him. Boom! Wow! Did that kill him? He ended up killing him. Yeah. Hell yeah! And it's a First grandmother. He banged him. Hell she. Yeah. She just hit him. That was crazy. Wild. Yeah. Hmm. And then uh, what else goes on? How big is that great white? Yeah, uh, you know, size of the great white, dude. Could be ten feet. Could be twenty. Sure. Well, that's it, that's kids. It. Is that it though? That's it. That's bud. it. Oh yeah. Um, shows. Right. Find the kid oh. live. We're back in Austin, March 29th, Friday so night. Friday. Okay. One show only. Nice. Seven thirty. Vulcan Gas Company, March 29th. Let's go. Seven thirty show. It's going to be good. We'll be there, kids. Uh, for me, I'm at the um, Bricktown Comedy Club this weekend, Friday, March 15th, fr Saturday, March 16th. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. Come get some. House of Comedy, Westminster, B.C., March 21, 22, 23. I look forward to seeing you guys and Brea Improv, April 19th and 20th. Uh, see you there, too. And then after that, Bricktown Comedy Club, April 26, 27. I can't wait. All right, kids. And, uh, love you. We're out. Oklahoma.